On today's episode of Undercover Boss, the president and CEO of Skyzone, one of the fastest growing entertainment and fitness businesses in the country, goes undercover. This kid-free bachelor will be forced to embrace his inner child. I think he had a little bit too much fun. As he meets the people who keep his company running. Oh. <laughs> My first impression of Cam is that he is freaking awesome. And what will happen when one employee starts jumping into conclusions about his identity? Jeff Platt, is it? I don't know. You don't know anything. I don't know anything for sure. I know there's an uncanny resemblance. Stay tuned to find out. Headquartered in Los Angeles, California, Skyzone Indoor Trampoline Park is a fast-growing fun and fitness destination with 2,000 employees in 50 locations and brings in more than $50 million a year. Leading this fast-growing empire is President and CEO Jeff Platt. Skyzone was founded in 2002 by his father Rick and it's the world's first indoor trampoline park. Skyzone has sold 140 franchise pots and over 50 have started operation in America and by the end of the year, there will be in more four countries around the world. Jeff went to college in Washington University and he asked his dad to open a location in St. Louis which he will manage. But two weeks after opening it, he finds his mom is diagnosed with cancer and his dad leaves the company to him so he can take care of his wife full time. Jeff was thrown into the leading position but he figured it out fast and he ran the company pretty well but unfortunately his mom passed three years later and he's used work as somewhat of an escape working 15-20 hours a day, 7 days a week. And his only goal for the last few years has been growing the company. Jeff has been successful on growing his business but he still thinks that he can do a lot more so he wants wants to go undercover to see how things are run from the inside and also make sure that the work culture is good. He'll be going undercover as Scott, an ex-janitor for a pro hockey team, competing to win his own action-adventure vacation. His employees will be asked to judge his performance and decide if he should get the price. For his first job, he travels to Westboro, Massachusetts to one of the recently opened locations. He got there to work as a court monitor and he meets up with Cam who teaches him about the safety rules and then they go to monitor a dodgeball game. Cam is very energetic and fun. No back row! Five seconds to throw! Oh. Oh. <laughs> My first impression of Cam is that he is freaking awesome. But also cares about safety and won't let people get hurt which Jeff really likes. Jeff then takes the lead role and monitors the game and he does pretty well as he was attentive and kept the game pretty fair. Later on their break, he learns that Cam used to be a hockey player. No way! Yeah, that's exactly what I played. <laughs> hockey? Yeah, I played for the Junior Bruins before this. Yeah. yeah. But he couldn't continue due to heavy injuries and wasn't able to walk for five years. They said you broke both of your hips. You tore ligaments in your hip flexor and um, I just had reconstructive surgery. Cam is glad to be better now but the medical bill he owes for the surgeries and physical therapy were very high and he doesn't know how he's going to pay them. And to make matters worse, he still needs to go to physical therapy and finish fully healing for the next few years as it's predicted that he'll be in a wheelchair again. They're predicting in the next three to five years I will have a prosthetic hip. If you don't continue physical therapy? If I don't keep working out and doing this. The next day he travels to Pompaneo Beach, Florida to work on one of the construction sites to function as an installer. There he meets up with Keith and he teaches him how to build the trampolines. Alright, so now with the spring, what you want to do is hook it here. Yeah, just hook it right there. And starting out, Jeff notices how passionate Keith is about safety and how much he loves doing his job. I do all the dirty work, but I love Sky Zone. I think you have to have a passion because you're on the road 300 days out of the year, so you better like it. Jeff follows his lead and tries to tie up the springs, but he was too slow and he messes some of them up. But Keith was patient with him and he helps him finish it. I want him straight, Scott. This, you gotta, you gotta focus in, bro. This gotta Should be here. This, the lock? this gotta be about here. Okay. Don't forget, I got a deadline, bro. Oh. And they go to the pads to do the same before ending their shift. On their break, Jeff learns Keith has a two-year-old daughter that he doesn't see often because he works as an installer for Skyzone and although he loves his job, the job requires travel so he's not able to see his daughter as much as he wants to. He also learns Keith was in prison for four years when he was younger but after getting out he met his wife and changed his life for the better. It's all about my ladies. When you're married and you have kids, you come third. It goes child, wife, you. 
The next day he travels to Minneapolis, Minnesota to work in community relations. He meets up with Miles who takes him on the faculty tour and meet up with new customers and we also see the best skills of Jeff as he's a great salesman which impresses Miles a lot. All your friends can go jump into that phone. You want to go do it now? There you go. <laughs> Boy, customer surface wise, he is absolutely hitting it out of the park. He then takes him to the call center to answer some calls, and Jeff is also great at that, even saying things about the company that Miles doesn't tell him about. Our philosophy is if you can walk, you can jump. And the for sure dead giveaway for me was when he said, which is language that only we use. But this time Miles gets suspicious as no one knew should be this good, and he's met Jeff multiple times before, and he's starting to make the resemblance. When Jeff goes to the bathroom, we see him talking to the other employees and asking them if they think the new employee is Jeff and they even guess that the show might be Undercover Boss. I'm Jeff Platt, isn't it? Where? My contestant. He's totally Undercover Boss. Jeff is also catching up to Miles' suspicion and asks him to talk to him in private and reveals his true identity. I'm Jeff Platt. I'm undercover in your call center right now. He then asks for his ideas and criticisms of the company, and Miles says that Jeff's first impression when he was a CEO was not great, and for the company, he tells him that the new places are not getting that much support because they're expanding too fast. For his last job, he travels to Oaks, Pennsylvania to work as a maintenance assistant. There he meets up with Brecken and they get right into the job, and Brecken teaches him how to do maintenance on the trampoline, and Jeff assists him set up. Ratchet like this. Got to turn that. Ratchet to the other way. Boom. There you go. All right. And that is how you change the turnbuckle. Good work. And later they clean up the trampolines and reorganize the foam pit. Jeff's undercover time has finally come to an end, and he invites his employees to reveal his true identity. Do you know who Jeff Platt is? Platt? No way. First in was Miles, and he tells him that he respected his opinion and offers him a support position so he can help the new franchisees get the help that they require. He then gives him $5,000 for his family and then gives him $16,000 to help him become a franchise owner. It's, uh, it's my dream come true and uh, I, I'm excited to, to see it all materialize. Next in was Keith and he tells him that he had an incredible time with him and that he loved his passion for his work and he then offers him a promotion which comes with a 13% increase and he gives him an additional $30,000 to help him and his family. $30,000. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Next in was Brecken, and he tells him that he was a great employee and asks him to work with a cleaning consultant and offers him a promotion, and then gives him $20,000 to use as he desires. The beginning of my new life that I can start living and not be afraid. It's, you know, making me shake. Last in was Cam, and he thanks him for being an awesome court monitor, and then offers him to be a trainer to new court monitors, which comes with a raise. And he then goes on to pay for all of his medical bills so he can continue his physical therapy. In addition to all of this, he gives him $30,000 to help him with his financial issues. I'm so excited. This is, it's literally just a new start. Honestly, thank you so much. <laughs> In the week since, Miles was looking for a new car and an ideal location for his franchise, Keith's dream of buying a home for his family is now possible, Beckin was able to pay his student loans, and Cam has returned to physical therapy. And that is how this episode of Undercover Boss comes to an end.